Hey, what's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, by request, this is uh, how how I do decals. Got some uh, decal paper and a printer, and I've been kind of experimenting with it. Uh, this is, you know, this is how I do it. I'm sure there's probably other better ways, but you know, it started with these uh, Harvick decals that were in good shape, but I figured I'd scan them anyways. And uh, actually, this is one of the first ones I did. These were really yellowed, but you know they'll they'll work. They'll, I only wanted a couple of specific parts that I've already cut out, obviously. But we get to the Harvick one, and uh, it's all about testing. You know, run some test prints. I kind of wasted a couple sheets of the decal paper the first time out. I realized that I had it set to. Uh, landscape instead of portrait <laughs> and it resized them and made them huge so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put those on but uh, so then I went and did another test let's see this is no this is second um, still the wrong size I had to resize it uh, I'm not sure exactly how I did that I think it was in the printer the shrink to fit so that it, it, the printer wants to make your photos bigger. You just have to uh, play with your, your settings and see. I would recommend doing test prints on regular pieces of paper in grayscale so you don't waste your good paper and your ink. But I finally got it to where uh, it was the right size. I had measured it, uh, measured precisely how big it was and then made sure that when I put it into the scanner that it it came out the right size. Uh, some of that was done in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop or can't use it, um, at, towards the end, I realized that all I really had to do was just put it in the scanner, hit scan, run it into the printer, and then print. And we're about to do that in a second. But again, I want to talk about definitely run test prints because your size might be wrong. You might have forgotten to do something. Like I forgot to make those baby on board stickers a little smaller. I, yeah, in the first run, I made them huge. Those are gigantic on, you know, 124 scale. Even those are still a little big. I could resize them, but you know what? Uh, propaganda bumper sticker, let's make it big. And then I went a little further and I took these super cool... Uh, I don't know if you're able to see that. Those are like OEM tire spec stickers, you know, you'd see on a brand new tire shop. They have put the specs on them. Part of a project I got going, I got a bunch of tires, so I figured, well, let's make a bunch of bunch of specs. Those were on um, the one of the Earnhardt kits that I just recently did. <clears throat> that was part of the part of the decal sheet. I'm like, oh heck yeah! So I copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, repeat. And then these were out of the um, the transporter rig, the Ravel car auto transporter uh, that I plan on building pretty soon here. Those are new car window stickers for prizes. So again, I copied, repasted. It. Oh, look! It looks like it's a little off there. That's the printer is not. This is weird sized paper. Is part of the problem. It's not quite eight and a half. <laughs> And it's uh, a little bit more than 11. It's almost 12. So the printer is getting a little confused about that. But, you know, I figured that's fine. I'll have plenty of others that I'll be able to use. So uh, and then I, I scanned all these. I got these choice bumper stickers from a, a, a friend, a buddy, person in the one of the Facebook groups that... Put part of this uh, project I got coming up. I just those are they're absolutely perfect. They are gonna make the build. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, run a scan and run a print, and we'll go from there. So I've got one more thing I want to add to that page. It's already in there. Uh, I'll set it up again. Try not to get your fingerprints all over the glass. That's one thing I'm trying to do. Pardon the wobbly camera, I'm running the hands-free head head cam, handy head cam. So this guy was in the uh, Datsun four-wheel drive truck. Super cool little for sale sign. So, yep, gonna make, 
So that seems like a waste, right? This big old page for that little tiny thing. So we'll go over here to the scanner and your settings. You know, you want to. Uh, I I just chose the flatbed because that's what. It, I, I'm not sure why. I tried them in TIFF. It didn't seem to make a difference in JPEG. So I just ran them with that, and then. Uh, the resolution, I just chose the highest that it would it would offer. And then you hit the preview, and you can see it'll generate a preview of that sticker. Hope that's not making too much wind noise. Can't live without it. So it's huge, right? So I'm just gonna resize that. Click and drag these little, little balloons so that it's around it. And then that way there'll be less, uh, it won't have to scan the whole thing. So we'll scan that. Hopefully this won't take forever. So in the meantime, let's boot up Photoshop. I have a folder of decals that I've already been working on. Let's, uh, there's that one that I was just looking at. I've added some extra cool stuff, but I still have all this space over here. I'm gonna add those for sale signs. So I have a file in Photoshop that was already ready. I'll just copy paste and put some right there. And then there we go. So it's done. So let's uh, close that. Go to file, open, find it. Should have named it. There it is. So it'll open in its own little page. First thing I want to do is crop it. Get it, uh, you know, as, as square as I can. Make it a little easier on me later. Uh, it was not intended to be a Photoshop tutorial and I'm sure you can probably do most of this in like a Microsoft Paint or something so okay you know what let's get those round turns on it let's let's go ahead and crop it all the way down so that it doesn't show those okay there we go now we got our move tool and we'll take this and just click and drag, drag it over to the other page, close that, no, we're not saving it. Uh, and then in Photoshop, Control T is your transform key, hold down shift while you turn the corners and it will keep the, it'll constrain the, the sizes. So that's, you know, sometimes you see big for sale signs, sometimes you see small ones. Just so it doesn't lose too much detail, I'm gonna Let's see, that's a window sticker, that's a bumper sticker, so yeah, that looks good, right? Yeah? Okay, sold. So, now we have that layer. We're gonna go over here and go to Layer, Duplicate, and I'm not gonna name it. Yes, yes, we'll do that, uh, I don't know, four or five times. Then, Choose the first copy, and I have the guide set. I don't know if it'll show you that. Let's see, zoom in a little bit, so that when I click on one, see, those, you know, see the little purple line pop up? That'll tell me that it's on center with the rest of them. So select the next one, pull it down, Select the next one, pull it down. Select the last one, pull it down. Yep, okay, so there we go. Bob's your uncle, Sue's your niece. Got a bunch of cool for sale signs. Got some carbon fiber on there. I've got, here, let me do this. Uh, Turn the grid off so you can see a little bit better. Got some warning stickers, you know, those are gonna go on the tire rack. Uh, the car stickers, carbon fiber. I resized a couple of the the tire OEM specs so that it'll they'll look different, you know. I made them a little bit narrower and longer. 
so that there won't be a whole bunch of consistent ones. And then just trying to fill the space here. God, I gotta figure out how to make that, make the printer read this page piece of paper better. But anyways, go to save, uh, control S, control S is your friend. Save, always save. First time you lose a, a project that you've been working on for hours, you learn. Control S, Control S, Control S. <laughs> over and over. It's ingrained to me now. So, a save as, we're going to do it as a JPEG that will overwrite the other one that I had in there because I made some changes. You can see that spot is blank there. So, we're going to save. Yes, I want to overwrite it. Uh, maximum quality okay and then there we go so we'll go to that picture yeah everything looks right um, print landscape portrait I don't know why it does that I wonder if hmm I should have done this beforehand it doesn't have any option oh Oh, oh, 11.69, that's almost 12, eight and a half, that sounds a little better, actually, let's, uh, whole page, yeah, shrink to fit, there we go, okay, it's all about experimenting, right? Oh, I don't know if the shrinking is going to change the size of it, though. That's why I didn't like that. But we'll, uh, we'll run it. Let's see. Whatever. Just a test. So it's calling it an A4. Um, then we're going to select the paper type. Glossy inkjet. It doesn't show any other really options. So it is a glossy paper. Um, it'll make a difference in how it feeds. I'm going to go down here and make sure the print and max DPI is turned on. I don't know if your printer has these settings or not. Just go ahead and dig around and see what you find. I want to make sure it's in the best option that it can give me. Uh, let's hope that A4 size is better. So, I should have paper in there already. Let's go ahead and shoot off a copy and see what happens. It'll take yeah, shitty. Cartridge low. Yeah, I know, because I've been using it. <laughs> Thanks. Whatever. I can hear it running. Yep. Okay. It's going to start doing something. So, this might take a while for it to run. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and then we'll come back when it's done and look at it. And hopefully that resize size to fit, shrink to fit, didn't shrink them too much and hopefully it centered them so all right uh pause we'll be back later all right there we go printed decals pretty cool it's uh it's just, this is a learning curve they will improve uh you can see the differences of my from my test sheet uh i added that for sale sign and reduced the baby on board and added a couple other little cool decals um, i'm gonna send this off to somebody that 
he was stoked to see these and you know well, I'm sure he'll get some use out of them a little mini bikes kind of an extra so um, go over what I did the the uh, shrink to fit didn't seem to change anything <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure well I guess it did didn't it yeah it resized them just a little bit but again I'm not real worried about this extra stuff hanging off because I got so many other copies of it um, but you know again you can see uh, I did make some changes to I took these tire spec stickers and resized them a little bit changed them up so that so that those will be a little bit different of a shape for this other project I've been working on um, a tire rack for a you know tire display like you'd see in a shop somewhere with a bunch of tires and put it that way so you can actually see it so those will all have these uh, spec stickers on them like what you know what size it is etc and I figured instead of having having it look like that basically all of them the same be cool to change it up a little bit and have some of them just a little bit different of a shape so to vary it a little bit and then that cool for sale sign it's a little big you know but I mean if you're trying to sell a car bigger the better right I mean again learning curve I can resize it uh, these I will also use on this uh, tire rack safety first and that about does it for that part of it the um, one thing I did want to go over is, so that's a finish sheet. I'll have to spray some clear on it. I'm not going to do that on camera and show you. We all know how to roll spray paint. Roll spray paint. <laughs> um, read your can. Read the instructions. It'll only take you a minute. You might see something that, oh, okay, that, I didn't know that, or I didn't try that, or blah, blah, blah. So this was recommended by uh, someone else on the one of the groups. The acrylic is nicer on decals than just regular lacquer. So if you don't do this, they just disintegrate once they put them in. Once you put them in water. So I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about, and part of why I chose all these square, rectangular, not round decals. Like if I would have taken. You know, like uh, like that. Uh, uh, no, I can't find a practical example. The mini bike. The mini bike will be difficult to get that to work. I'm gonna have to cut precisely around that whole thing. Can't just like normal decals go cut it out and put it on. Have to really trim closely around that, and they have to have a coat of clear on them. If not, the ink just d disintegrates and floats right off the paper. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm not going to try and stick it on anything. I'll just show you that it won't take much for that to just fall apart and become unusable. I'll try not to get water on them. These are still usable. I just need to shoot some clear on them. Those two I will use. I'm going to send this one off to uh, Robert and I'll use these. I'll just reprint my own copy of the baby on board. So yeah, I can see it already, seeing it starting to... So you could say you're gonna pull this off and put it on something. Barely touching it. See that just disintegrate? Wow, I didn't even get it off the paper and it just fell apart. So you have to shoot the clear on it to hold it all together and, you know, obviously let it dry. So, uh, Again, I'm not going to do that on camera. We all know how to spray paint. Hopefully you know how to spray paint. <laughs> it's, it's a big part of building models. So there you go. That does it. That about, uh, that'll about that put a wrap on the how I do decals. I'm sure there's other ways. There might be better ways. Again, this is just a learning curve. Someone had asked could they want to do it with their kid. Um, experiment with your printer. You know, get some regular paper and figure out your sizing first. Like with this, the uh, carbon carbon fiber decal. Uh, I had resized it to get two of them on there. And then after the fact, I realized that 
you can't see the carbon fiber effect on these. They just look like black or copper or gray. So I had to put it on the actual size. And I also noticed that this wrinkle is in the decal itself. So you want to be really careful of what you scan because it will show. And you can see the little fuspus on those it comes through. Um, this was at 1200 DPI scanned and then printed and the, whatever the highest DPI it'll output. It doesn't tell me so I can only assume it was 1200. But those look great. I know my camera won't show the details, but that is going to look really cool. A bunch of tires all lined up on the rack with stickers on them and safety, uh, whatever, safety chevrons. I don't know what you call that stuff. But I'm rambling. That about does it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one that I think, if it shows up in the mail today, I'm going to get started on the build that these are going on. That There's a couple parts that are going to go with it that are just going to... You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> so, that about does it. Like, sub, like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that. Share. Thanks. Bye.